your uh, campaign material says, are you tired of the politics, rhetoric, corruption, incompetency? What are we missing? What are we missing? Integrity. Are you referring to your opponent uh, who's, who's worked under Phil Kuzanski and Earl Leonard who seem to have restored integrity and competency to the supervisor elections office? Or are you referring to the corruption and incompetency in Tallahassee, which you, you've at least been associated with, not saying that, you're, that you've done anything wrong, but which are you referring to? I've said it before, I'll say it again. I think uh, there's a difference between a leader and a staff member, and I think that Earl Leonard has done a great job restoring integrity to that office. But I've proven my integrity both in the military, I've proven my integrity as an elected official, whether it's a city commissioner or in Tallahassee. I have proven leadership. I've been a staff officer. I've been a commander. It's a big difference. I know a lot of staff officers that make terrible commanders. I've done both. That's the integrity I'm talking about. I'm not questioning my opponent's integrity. I'll let him defend his himself. But I'm just saying that I have the integrity to do that job. I have the qualifications to do that job. And that's what I'm referring to. Greg, do you want to rebuttal to that? I, I was just uh, responding that I think that uh, I think that the proof is already out there. You know, I came into this office under Phil Spazanski. Uh, as we all know, uh, six months on the job, she passed away. Uh, the governor appointed then Earl Leonard, who then ran unopposed to that position. Um, I've worked for a Democrat and a Republican. Uh, Mr. Gloriosky is referring to command officer. Uh, the rank of major with the sheriff's office is a command officer's position. So I, I feel to see a real difference there also. Um, but I think that it's been obvious that we've returned the accountability and the confidence and transparency to that office.